Thank you. Say you. So let me tell you a little bit about this new podcast that BRS is launching. It's a wellness podcast. And we, when I say we, myself, Chris, and the owner of the BRS radio station, Mr. George Pardo, we're all veterans. So we all use our platforms and different mediums to get the word out of it about different tools that the veteran community can use to overcome the obstacles that we come home with with our mental health and PTSD. Chris does it through music, I do it through yoga, and uh, Mr. George Cardo, he does it through a program called BRS Heroes, where he couples up professional athletes and veterans for an amazing program that he has. And one of the uh, mediums that Chris has used recently is a song called If You Drink, and that's kind of why I chose this name to name this podcast, because our worlds kind of overlap in a lot of the veteran work that we do. And I thought, what more fitting way to name a podcast than If You Drink? And in fact, last time here I was on stage with you, we were performing a song at a veteran fundraiser called Ever After. And that was about a military couple and the female being the one who was actually the so we have a lot of common uh, ground with veteran work. We're all kind of doing it on different roads, but we have the same destination and the same goal. It's to help our veteran community and our veteran family. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to Nashville. Well, I am a United States Marine Corps vet. I've been in Nashville for about 10 years, and uh, I just decided, you know, if, if I can't serve on the battlefield anymore, or in the rear, whatever the case may be, I wanted to be able to do something for the veterans. So what we've been actually done here recently is we've launched this thing called the Freedom Tour, the Warriors on Mission. And what the Freedom Tour is, is we go around the VFWs and American Legions, and we talk about the HOPE curriculum, which uh, stands for Healing, Opportunity, Peace, and Empowerment. So we'll go to these VFWs and American Legions and throw these free shows with the hopes that we can train two leaders to lead this leadership course, and then we can have veterans follow in this uh, this curriculum, it's a 10 week curriculum. So we just want to do something with the VFWs and the American Legions and do something for the best to get back. And I think it's really genius on the Crossman's part to uh, use music as a way to engage veterans to come out because everybody likes good music and Chris is one of the best entertainers I've, I've ever seen live. So that's really a genius way to get them out and then we can uh, you know, present them the curriculum so that they can use that. And that's what a lot of organizations, you know, I think is really important is you got to give them tools. It's great to meet up occasionally, but what are you going to do in the days in between? By giving them tools, you can uh, survive those obstacles on a day-to-day basis. So tell us a little bit about if you drink and what you did with that so if you drink was pitched to me uh, about four years ago in a uh, buddy of mine named john Cirillo and uh sarah spencer and dan rice and i wrote this song and they sent it to me and said hey we just wrote this song for an old Irish host. i was like that's really cool man well, let me take what i see so i listened to the lyrics of the song and i thought about a veteran who was sitting there by himself trying to drink himself away from his oppression from being back home and, and, 
And I, you know, with this veteran, I was like, you know what, it'd be cool in the storyboard. You see this veteran gets in the BMWs and hang out, hang out with his buddies so he's not drinking them all. So that's exactly what we did. I found the video with me. And it was just all like that perfectly because the travel more the Vietnam veteran travel memorial walls in Nashville, the same with the film. So captured some really good uh, some uh, really good footage. So you guys want to look at it, go to like YouTube and Google Chris Turner if you drink and you'll see the video. It's it's really, really impactful. So it's it's a great storyline and I think for what you're doing with this podcast, you know, if you drink, come drink more with us They're at happy hour. Once a week, man. I mean, I think it's brilliant, you know, to have veterans come in and say, hey, you know what? If we're going to drink, just come drink with us. Let's hang out. So thank you for what you're doing. Right, right. So, you know, as veterans, sometimes that's all we need. And, and that's the biggest complaint that I when I hear from going uh, to therapy and even myself is we're talking to civilians. And sometimes we just need another vet to talk to and hang out, you know. And whether that's 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 3 a.m. in the morning, there's a trust layer between vet to vet. Like, we get each other, we understand the language, we understand the culture, and sometimes that's all we need to get through the day. So that's really what we wanted to use this podcast, is to take what Chris had already started and build on that. And every week we're going to bring in not just guests that can give us resources for mental health. We want to hear veteran stories of how you're We want to also eventually be able to bring veterans on live so you can come and have a drink with us. You know, because like I said, sometimes we just need someone to talk. So we want to be able to provide that platform for you to come on. You know, and even though our conversation may end at 30 minutes, we're going to be able to give you resources that you can use after the show ends. And I've even heard you say before that... You don't want to just use one show and black and black and thinking you want to you want your legacy to be that you left resources. That's something that's really important to me too. And so that's kind of why, you know, this kind of triggered the whole idea for If You Drink podcast. You know, in this last year, you know, it's not just veterans that are suffering from mental health illness. We also have the whole world that has gone through a traumatic situation in this last year, you know, and so I think it's important to have this podcast for us. So without further ado, I'd love to hear the song of the hour, um, yes. If You Drink. So we're going to do If You Drink for you guys. He was driving somewhere between Gallup and Winslow. No stretcher of 66. At the end of his road, looking for hope, but he found a soul far here and said, Neon was dusted, the door hinges rusty, on the window a half written sign. Between the paps and the corners, two slamming doors made it worse. But then I'm just fine. If you cheat, what will be step that you cheat? If you lie, I will suck you love. And if you fight, do it for the right reason. If you drink, then come drink one with the The whole place was packed. Rangers waved him on back. Set him up on the last day. She said, man, I can tell you've been going through it. We've all come out of there, too. And we live by our own golden rule. If you cheat, you know this death that you cheat. If you lie, allow someone you love. 
If you fight through your own right reasons, if you drink a fish or drink one with more. All we can do is the best that we can. We're all sinners, forgiven, free. If you cheat, always step that you cheat. If you lie, lie with someone you love. And if you fight, do it for the right. If you drink, it come drink one with us. If you drink, it come drink one with us. Drink one with us. If you drink, and I said, I sure do. And I was like, Is that the song you wrote? And he was like, So excited and so happy. I don't know if you made it out tonight, but uh, he was really happy to hear that we were continuing the mission uh, that Chris started with this song. And so, you know, I was talking a little bit about mental health. Uh, you know, the entire world this past year, we've all been in the same boat. Uh, we've all had to deal with isolation, and we've uh, come back to a place of we're kind of getting back to a little bit of normalcy where we can have events like this. Um, we're going to have this Memorial Weekend, and celebrate Memorial Weekend. And so you dropped a song last fall called All of the Same Boat. I did, I did. Which is really an amazing song and a great little chance. So tell us a little bit about that song. So uh, it was kind of like with my American Made project that If You Drink came off of. You know, I'm, I'm cutting this new project called God Loves Me. And I thought I had the whole project written. And a buddy of mine named Bill DeLuigi and said, hey, are you still cutting? I was like, well, if you got something to beat what I've written, yeah, I'd love to hear it. So he sent me this song called All in the Same Boat, and just listening to the lyric of it and where we were at with COVID, and where we've been, and where we're going, you know, people fighting and struggling, trying to, you know, uh, make a dollar. I mean, it's just it's the epitome of what I think everybody in this world can relate to right now. So when I heard it, I was completely floored, and I called Bill back, and I was like, hey, man, nobody's got that song on hold on So uh, fortunately enough, nobody had it, and I got access to it, and... We went to studio and cut it. I think I released it uh, in October, I think it was. And, you know, it's, it's been doing really well as the radio right now. And, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes, man. It's a, it's a really cool song, especially in the summertime. Yeah. Yeah, so we have Memorial Weekend coming up, and I couldn't think of a better summer anthem for the entire world. And we're all in the same boat. But hey, we're all in the same boat with what we did last year, but now we're all in the same boat with moving forward and getting back to our lives. So let's hear our new summer anthem. You ready for this? Let's go. One, two, three. Say 
she ain't no good to me. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. for our country, which is their life. But we also want to do a shot tonight for our fellow veterans that are still alive. If you drink, come drink one of us. Follow this song, follow this podcast, and now we're going to do one last toast with our veteran family here tonight. If you cheat, I hope it's death that you cheat. If you lie, lie with someone you love. And if you fight, do it for the right reason. And if you drink, come, come drink, drink one with us. us. Cheers. Cheers. Luck of the Irish. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'll see you next week during happy hour, Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope you have a great night and a great week. See y'all. Thank, Thank you for joining us. See you soon.